What is good, you guys? It is Justin back for another YouTube video, and today we got something very special. We got three special guests. We got my boy Renell, Joey, and Bobby. I'm gonna put all their I'm gonna put all their links in the description. And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be looking at NFC and AFC Conference Championship picks. We got the Bucks versus the Packers and the Bills versus the Chiefs. Two big games. And uh, yeah, Joey, start us off with the first game. All right, bet. Okay. So before we were like even in the Zoom call, I was like, I was like, dang, like who am I gonna pick here? Because I know the Packers are nice. Like their offense did really well. And I called it last video where I said if Aaron Jones did good, then they were gonna win, and he did. But the Bucks, their defense looked like amazing, amazing the last week against Breeze, even though, you know, Breeze kind of washed up now. But <laughs> for me, I'd say judging by how good the Bucks defense played last week, I gotta go the Bucks here. Their offense was really good too. Mike Evans got involved. He got a touchdown early. He mossed that Lattimore dude. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just gotta go Bucks on this one. They had a good offense and a great defense last week, and I can't go against the best defenses. So. That's my pick. All right, Renell, what you got? Uh, okay, so just a disclaimer. I am not as involved in sports as the other three, but I do know a general, like, understanding. So, I'm, I wouldn't say that the Bucks' defense was great. I feel like it was more offensive mistakes with, with the Saints, um, and, the, and the Bucks kind of just capitalized on that. Um. Uh, I forget when the uh, when the uh, but I do remember when they when Green Bay and uh, Tampa Bay were uh, hey they're both Bay sorry okay um <laughs> uh, when they were playing uh, the Bucks did get an interception at one point I'm pretty sure you mean so, like the uh, first time they played each yeah. other I think so yeah they I, got I, like one shaky yeah they got one pick got six two. they got oh, two, two? And a pick six. yeah Jeez. and they won by like thirty. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That was a long time ago. Though. Well, yeah. And dude, I I feel like Packers really want it, really need to win this. And like I know the Buccaneers really need to win it too, but every team needs to win I'm, it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. Um but I'm just going to say Buccaneers. That's that's what I, I was. I was actually thinking about switching to Packers, like actually. But yeah, uh, I, I'm going Green Bay. Here we go with this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I mean, yo, like this is a hard pick for all of us. I respect hey. Yeah, definitely. Right, yeah, so definitely. What we saw week six was the Bucks put pressure on Rodgers. If you put pressure on Rodgers, if you put pressure on any QB, you're gonna win the game. And uh, last week versus the Rams, Aaron Donald, the best pass rusher in the game, he did not get pressure. The Rams' D-line was not a factor in that game. Aaron Rodgers tore them up. On the other side of the ball is where things get interesting, okay? You got Brady and all his weapons. But then you got Jair Alexander, who I think is the best corner in football. <laughs> Ramsey. Yo, oh, wait, wow, what? Jalen Ramsey, yeah, Ramsey does not Ramsey exist? Look at this man. Jair, he will shut down Mike Evans. Marshawn Lattimore, outside of that touchdown last week, he locked down Mike Evans. And what about Chris Godwin, though? And that's Gronkowski. That's and Gronkowski. Right. Of Didn't Gronk drop like two, like two, Gronk, wait, 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 Gronk dropped like two touchdowns, bro. He's getting old. Gronk bro. is washed. <laughs> Player. Gronk is too busy doing. Hey, Scotty Miller is nice. Scotty Miller is nice. See, if I'm the Bucks, I'm benching Gronk and putting in Cameron Braid. Yeah, they, they they have the other tight end. He's nice too. The Cameron Braid. Yeah, yeah he's nice. Yeah, and then the Brady. thing is, with Rodgers, you have to get the run game going. Any QB will yeah. succeed with the run game. Look at Facts. Goff. Look at Goff with McVay. Goff. Yeah, because he's not good by himself. <laughs> exactly. Perfect system. I'm gonna go Rodgers. I'm gonna go Rodgers. We'll say. 38 27. Uh, all right, bro. I, res so, I respect the choice, though. I'll I, 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 I do respect, respect it. Gonna bite me in the ass if hey, I mean, I think it could go either way, honestly, because, like, they're two, both two good teams. But, bro, there's, honestly, bro, there's two things you don't do in sports. You don't bet against LeBron, and you don't bet against Tom Brady in the playoffs, bro. You just can't do it. Bro, Tom Brady has literally made a career off of being. Bro, wasn't he, like, the 
199th pick in the draft in like the sixth round, yeah, bro. bro Dude, he, like, he ran like a five yeah, flat, bro. He, like he's he bro. in like the sixth round. Bro. Yeah, bro. Dude, Tom Brady has made a career out of like upsetting the people that he's supposed to lose to, like from when he when he was winning in New England and now, bro. But so I don't know. What is this, bro? Green. I don't. I don't think Green Bay should be favored, honestly, because, bro. I don't. I don't know. I don't trust Aaron Rodgers to be honest. I don't trust Aaron Rodgers because last year yeah, the Aaron Packers. Isn't clutch yeah, because last year the Packers are doing good, bro. I like. I like wrote some stuff down, but like they were doing good last year until they got to NFC Championship against the Niners and then they freaking got destroyed, bro. And like I know he looks a lot better this year than he did last year, but like I don't know. Honestly, I think that when it comes down to it, I trust like if it's like two minute warning, I trust Tom Brady like to get down the field more than I trust Aaron Rodgers. And also like the Bucks defense, I think if they do what they're probably gonna do what they what they try to do what they did last time, which is get pressure on Rodgers. But I think if they do that and force him to make some bad throws in those corners, I think it's all depends on uh the Bucks defense. I think if they're clamping down, at least like containing uh Devontae Adams, then I think they have a better chance to win. And they also can't let those like those deep shots that Rodgers throws to like Lazard and those other guys they can't let that happen if they want to win, I think. But I think if their defense can somewhat contain Adams and those receivers, then I think Brady will do the rest. I think they'll be able to win. What you were saying about, you know, last year's championship game, that's where you see it. The Niners did the two things they had to do. On defense, they put pressure on Rodgers. Amazing D-line. On offense, they got the run game going. Yeah, he and Moster had, like, three touchdowns that game. Moster had a monster game, bro. That was his, yeah. like, her career game, bro. That put him as a starter. Bro. Yeah. It, and, it, and he almost crashed. left it. Like, wanted to trade this offseason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. He almost left the Niners, bro. Bro, well, like, honestly, it, like, it's going to depend on also Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette. Like you said, the run game, I think it has like to, like, those Ronald two Jones. have to get going, bro. Especially, I think, Fournette. Run game, right? You said what? Run defense, like, step. You know, uh, I thought they were going to get torched by the Titans, but Derrick Henry got shut down that one week, week 16. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, when yeah. I'm like, oh, this defense is actually playing better than I thought. Yeah, and that, I, what's his I, name on the line? His, his name is, like, Kenny Clark or whatever. He's nice. Oh, yeah, he one of the best run stuffers in the game. And then last week, I actually had the Rams pulling off an upset. But the Rams defense, they put pressure on, or the Packers defense put pressure on golf. If you can put pressure on any QB, you're going to win the game. Especially if that dude had a broken thumb, bro. Like, he had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> it still went off. Yeah. Like, I mean, bro, they they, they needed, know. like, bro, Jared Goff, like, he, I think he was doing his job, but what they, like, literally, what they needed to win is they, they needed, uh, what's it called, um, the defense to, like, to hold Green Bay. Because Goff could only do so much. Once the Green Bay started scoring and, like, like and then the offense couldn't, like, contain that, bro. They couldn't keep up. Like, they had a chance to win that game. The Rams had the ball down one possession. Wait, I forgot what I forgot what happened in that possession. Fourth or uh, three and out. Ah, uh, that's tough. <laughs> Pressure, bro. But then there was that one play too when like Aaron Darnold. I think they had like a third and long, and then he got into a fight with somebody, and it turned into a first down. And then the Packers scored. <laughs> I was like, bro, I think I remember Aaron that. Donald, <laughs> you're the one, bro. You're supposed to be leading by example, and you're the one getting into fights. Come on, bro. <laughs> that reminds me of that, uh, of that one uh, that one Steelers Bengals game a couple years ago, the wild card one. Oh, when when Antonio got trucked. Oh then god. They got another fifteen yards. Yeah, dude. All right, so now we're gonna get into. I'm at, for the same game. I'm gonna ask you guys who you guys think is gonna be like the most valuable player of the game and why. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll go first with the with the. Okay, wait. So I picked the Bucks. So I think it's pretty obvious who I think the best player is gonna be. It's probably gonna be Brady. You know, he's probably gonna throw a couple touchdowns. If it's like low key, I can also see. Wait, let me think. Who's on the? Packers defense, yeah, obviously Jair Alexander, but other than that, dude, I think they had that Adrian Amos dude as a safety or whatever. They got, like, Zendarius and, Smith. He's nice. Oh, yeah, 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 he's, yeah, he's a pass rusher, too. Yeah. But, like, if I'm thinking, like, the Bucks, I'm lucky either picking Brady or Chris Godwin because I don't think Chris um, Chris Godwin in man coverage is going to be covered by, like, another superstar like Jair Alexander. So, I'm either going Brady or Godwin for MVP. All right, Renell, what do you think? The thing about, like, Godwin, I, they're going to have to – to put safety help on him. Like, if I'm yeah. the Packers defensive coordinator, I have Jair Alexander manned up on Mike Evans every play, and I have help on Godwin. That's how you're going to win that game. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. if you do that, Scotty Miller is going to go off. Oh, yeah. Bro, they have so many weapons. It's crazy. They can go to anybody. Oh, yeah. 
All right, I want to hear who we're announcing for the MVP, um, though. Is it okay if I do, like, MVP if Bucks win and MVP if Packers win? Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine. Yeah. Um, MVP Probably if Bucks win, uh, Tom Brady, or I feel like I just, I don't know, I don't know much, but I feel like Mike Evans is going to have a good game. I just feel it. I, uh, I think, I just, I just have a feeling. That's all I can say about that. Uh, for Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers or Devontae Adams? I like Devontae Adams, big. All right, Navi, what do you think? All right, so I went with Green Bay. So I think the MVP of the game is going to be an underrated pick, but I think it's going to be MVS, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Is that the guy that drops passes? (laughs) (laughs) He's made some big plays before, all right? It's going to be him or Lazard. I'm going to get a big play to open up a drive. That's going to finish in some touchdowns. Yeah, they like acting the deep bombs too, so they're definitely going to get a couple yards. You saw it last week. He bombed Lazard for a touchdown. Yeah, so I don't know. I think I'm going to go like the like what Renell did. I'm going to say like for if it's if the Bucks win, then honestly, I think it'll be uh Tom Brady. I don't know. I th- I think it's going to be a close game. So honestly, I see it coming down to like one or two drives and like I said earlier, I think if it comes down to that, then I trust Brady more like making those passes on third and second down. And then I'll, I think if the Packers win, then I think uh honestly, I think it'll be the receivers, but I have to say Devontae Adams just cuz like that's Rodgers' guy. Like whenever he needs something, then he goes to Adams. Even though I I'm pretty sure he wasn't like two. I think he had like a touchdown last week, but I don't think he was like targeting him too much. But I think that uh whenever like Rodgers like needs someone to throw to, Adams will be there and he pretty much always catches it. For real though, imagine if this game had fans. Yo, that would be crazy. Are they gonna have fans at Lambo? I don't know. They're gonna have fans, but imagine if the stadium was packed. Oh yeah. Mm. That that changes everything, yeah. Just the fans being there changes everything. Yeah. All right, so is that that for that game? Yeah, All we right. spent like eighteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see, let's look. Wait, where is it at right here? It says one of these guys has Buccaneers twenty six, Packers twenty four, and this guy has the Packers winning by two touchdowns, bro. What like are you smoking on? Wait, 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 wait. What did he have? Wait, what did he? Um, I I swear he had like a horrible, horrible like um. Prediction last week. Oh last yeah, week. I think he had the. Right? I think he had the Chiefs winning by one. But I mean that was close, because the yeah, Chiefs only yeah, like yeah. won by it a was touchdown. Close because um you know. Mahomes boy. Mahomes. Injured and stuff yeah. Like that, yeah. But. All right. Speaking of Mahomes, now we got <laughs> a- <laughs> we got the AFC <laughs> Championship game. With number two Bills at number one Chiefs, and I think Patrick Mahomes he's been cleared, so I think he's gonna yeah he's gonna start. But I don't know if he's a hundred percent. But Joey, start us off with that on your pick. All right, yeah, so that actually brings me to my point. So I think if, if uh, Mahomes is, like, 100%, the Chiefs are winning it, like, just because, you know, it, it, it's Mahomes, bro. But if he's not 100%, I still see it being very close. But I would still have to take the Chiefs by, like, at least three to five points just because, you know, it's Mahomes, and he still has all those guys like Kelsey and Tyreek in them, bro. And then I know their defense played, like, they played well last week. I wouldn't say well, but like, yeah, they had a they had a couple plays last week, so that definitely helped them. And then of course the Bills, they have a great offense. And then on defense, Tyreek is probably gonna be manned up on that uh, what's his name, that Tredavious White guy. I think that's his name. <laughs> yeah, not the, white, the guy. white guy. Not white guy. Not the white, white guy. guy. <laughs> not <laughs> <a> white guy. <laughs> so, so yeah, I know he's on their defense, and then I think the Bills also have a lot of underrated guys on their defense as well but yeah they got that one Taron Johnson dude that picked off Lamar oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he was nice I and then they also have that um yeah he went right down Jordan the street Poyer. Yeah. yeah yeah they had the yeah. Jordan Poyer dude but um yeah uh you just can't bet against the Chiefs bro like they're they're just too good so many weapons to throw to <laughs> right now? Pretty, yeah and they have pretty big <laughs> names on the defense too so that's my pick all hey. right <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, the Chiefs are scary, but I don't think Mahomes will be 100% at least for the first half of the game. I feel like he's gonna take at least that first half to kind of, I guess, warm up into it. I guess, um, but I think that's when the Bills are gonna like, when the Bills are gonna take their chance to uh, score and like. 
I know I don't think the Bills have a super good running back. Um, no, they don't. <laughs> okay, all right. It's really because yeah. because like that. What's his name? That Zach Moss or whatever. Did he get injured? Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Or oh, okay. he was having a good rookie year. They have like Singletary. I think that's a running yeah. back now. Oh, he, was, yeah, he was good last year. He was good last year, but now he shares time with the Moss dude, and then he doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. yeah. been the worst director. running back football this year. <laughs> 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 That's tough. Trying to shade, bro. Mad shade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're now get back to it. So, the Chiefs are scary, but I do think the Bills will take whatever chance they have. Um, I just think from everything we've seen that I know they struggled against the Colts, but the Colts have like a pretty good defense. But I know the Chiefs' defense is really good. But I just I think the Bills will be prepared enough to um, be able to play against that, and so I'm gonna have to say Bills. Um, it might be close towards the end, but the Bills will have a big enough lead to uh, secure the win. All right, that was interesting. So let's be honest here. Mahomes is not 100. percent I don't care anything. <laughs> I don't care what the doctors say. He has a pinched nerve in his neck. Ah, that doesn't sound like good. That doesn't yeah, sound bro, good, bro. Just, yeah, I don't even know what that is, but that just sounds so bad. A pinch nerve. It sounds bad, right? Like, that's yeah. not a injury. Like, yeah. a concussion, you know, seven to ten days at least. Yeah. I don't think yeah. he's 100% for this game. And he, he was 100% the last time they played, and they narrowly got out with a victory. So, I'm going to go with the Bills. And... It's mainly because I feel like if Mahomes is not 100%, if you if you look at the Chiefs' last couple playoff games, they went off of momentum. They went off of getting big plays. Yeah, because right? they've been down by a lot. But then, like, they like once they score once, then it just keeps going, and then they can come back easily. La- last year. Like last, last year. year. Yeah, like last year. The game in the Texans where they were down 24-0. In the Mahomes first quarter. <laughs> inside the five. Travis Kelsey touchdown. Immediately snagged the momentum back. Yeah. Uh, last year versus the Titans, AFC chip. Mahomes had that big 27-yard touchdown run right before the half. Snagged the momentum going into the break. All right? In the Super Bowl last year. Hey, let's not talk about that, bro. Let's not talk about that. That play snagged the momentum. They took that game. All right, next. Next point, bro. If you can limit the big plays, they're going to win that game. Uh, I don't know. I think I agree with what you guys are saying, but I don't know. I just think, like, I don't know. I've been watching. I watched a lot of first take, and like I don't know. Max Kellerman, he's one of those guys. Like every, it's literally every time they ask a question about Mahomes or somebody else, it's always Mahomes. And like I don't know. I'm still keep starting to buy into that because like, dude, it's just like it. Like when you watch him play, it's just different from like everybody else. Like it, like he makes it look so much easier, especially with those weapons that he has. I don't know. That's another thing. That might be one of those other things that you can't bet against Mahomes, bro. Because like they can be down. Like because the Bills' offense is explosive, they can be down by a lot. But I think just having Mahomes and those weapons, even if he's not at 100%, because his game is not really based off of running. He can run, but mostly he's like a maybe like move a little bit out of the pocket and then make a deep pass. And I think even at 50%, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's higher than that, but even at 50%, he can still do that, throw a deep pass or two to Tyree Kill or Travis Kelsey. But honestly, I think it's going to depend on the Chiefs' defense. I think if their defense can hold the Bills, like that Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs connection is crazy. I think if they can hold that, and, like, I mean, because D- the way Diggs has been playing, he's been having, like, 100-plus yards and a touchdown, like, every game. So I think if they can, like, contain the Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen connection and then Mahomes can do what he does and score, because the Bills don't have a – they don't have a run game. Like they, like, they don't have a run game at all. So I think if they can somewhat contain that passing game, I think that – it'll. I don't want to say a blowout, but I think they should win and it really shouldn't be that close, bro, if they do what they're supposed to do. Uh- all right. Are we doing the, the who do you think is going to be MVP thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, All Jay. right. So for me, for the MVP, I'm going to, with uh, Travis Kelsey. Big red zone threat. If the Chiefs get into the red zone, they're going to score a lot. They, they normally look for him in the red zone all the time because, like, you know, he's, like, so big and he can moss people. Yeah. Even though I'm mad he's not that good. But, <laughs> uh, you know, so, yeah, I got to go Kelsey. Biggest red zone threat, especially if they get, like, in, like, the, like, 10-yard line. It's, it, it's a GG, bro. And then uh, if the Bills win, I'm probably going to go step on Diggs just because he's a, he's a beast. All right, Renel. Uh, for me, probably uh, if Bills win, um, 
Like, okay, wait, do you, who do you guys think has more of a, like, if Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs just have, like, a monster game for both of them, who do you guys think would get more MVP? Just, like, because I, I don't really know too much. Um, I think it, it really would... really depend, right? I, I like, think it would be like, Diggs. Like, no, no, no. Like, let's just say, like, um, Josh Allen throws, like, four touchdowns and, like, two of them is, is to Diggs, then that would go to Allen. But if... Diggs caught three touchdowns of the four, then it'd go to Diggs, you know? Kind of depends on the type of plays, like, you know. Yeah, 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 that too. If, like, Diggs mosses someone in the end zone, you know, that's going to him, right? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I also, I think it it depends, too, on, like, what Nobby said, like, when the plays happen, like, fourth quarter, big moments, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so, yeah, for Bills, Stefan Diggs, definitely. (laughs) And for Chiefs, um, Tyreek or Mahomes? Like, Mahomes might just... Like, might this surprise us? I he's he's one of those. You never know what what will happen. So. So my MVP pick. Uh, I think I think in this game, I'm not worried about the offense of the Bills. They're gonna do what they've been doing. It's really about the defense. And on the defense, they're big playmakers. Trey White in the secondary, Ed Oliver, Tremaine Edmonds, Micah Hyde. I'm gonna go with Trey White. I think he's gonna have. A very hard task with, you know, Tyreek Hill. But I think he'll make a big play. He'll come up. He's a really excellent man corner. Not as good in zone. But I think he'll make a play. That'll get, you know, the Bills in prime field position. And snag a lead early. So you're saying that you think one-on-one, Tredavious White will, like, like uh, beat, like, lock, clamp Tyreek Hill? Or at least contain him? Contain. Like, I'm saying... I'm saying, you know how last week we had Ramsey and Adams, and you guys were saying Ramsey will contain Adams? Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay. You know, 60 yards, he has an occasional big play. But for the relative part, contain him. Take him away from the game a little bit. Yeah, honestly, I, like I, I, I don't think Patrick Mahomes doesn't really make mistakes. <laughs> like, bro, I just, I don't know. I think if the Chiefs win, I think the MVP has to be Mahomes. Like, I don't know. Just like the throws, like the throw, like you know, like the freaking sidearm, all the stuff, the throws that yeah, he does, he, that crazy. like what puts him above everybody else. Honestly, like I don't think he's gonna win the MVP this year, but he's on the type of level. Like every year, he's definitely like for the next. Honestly, if he stays healthy for the next eight years, he's gonna be up there like every year. So I think it's gonna be Mahomes, especially in the fourth quarter, making those throws. I don't think they'll be down in the fourth quarter, but I think that he'll uh, get them off to a good start and like you know keep them going out throughout the game. But if the Bills win, then I think it has to be Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs has been such a like a big uh what's it called like a monumental part of Josh Allen's season because Josh Allen went from being last year like a it was kind of like a is he going to be the franchise quarterback to like now it's like for sure and I think a big part of that is Diggs because like him getting him a number one receiver definitely elevated him and I think this is like off track but that's what the Ravens bro if you get Lamar Jackson an elite number one run uh wide receiver I think his game will be elevated so much bro because who does he has to throw to like Marquise Brown and Willie Sneed like bro who are they Marquise Butterfingers, bro, bro. <laughs> yeah I'm saying. in this offseason I heard Allen Robinson is a free agent oh yeah hey, he's I, nice. I, yeah I like Allen Robinson I, uh, I had him on my team for fantasy like two years ago he did nice that's why i i, I like him bro so yeah he's, he's actually really good too he's I, underrated i think the ravens Robinson, yeah i feel bad for that man. <laughs> Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> Yeah, bro, honestly, I think the Ravens, they have to make that move. You have to get Lamar somebody to throw to. But if we're getting back on track here. Yeah, I think the Stephon Diggs will be – I think he's going to have, like, at least 100 yards, maybe even more, and a touchdown at least. So I think that if they win, I think it will be a, a bigger part of him than anybody else. I think – I mean, obviously Josh Allen, but I think that, like, he, like the guy he trusts the most to catch the uh, passes is Stephon Diggs. <clears throat> you know what you were saying about Mahomes, right? For the next eight years, we're watching the future GOAT here. That's facts, bro. Honestly. Yeah, bro. dude. I yeah, I agree with that too, bro. He's like crazy. He's like one of the best talents we've, we've ever seen. Probably the best talent that we've ever seen. Yeah, I think if some, of, some of the throws he makes, I'm like, dude, how do you make that? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's crazy. I'll be going out on a limb. I think he, I think he's already a Hall of Famer if he stays healthy. Hey man, oh, yeah. I think I think if he I think if they win the ring this year and then even like let's say they win this year and then after that it just goes down or some kind of injury, I think he'd have to be a Hall of Famer, bro. Still. Oh yeah. I don't know, dude. Dude, he broke, he broke like everything, in like two. His like, like it's like crazy, bro. He broke like 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 eighteen hundred like um, passing records and stuff, bro. And like his what first Fun second year. Like, uh, dude, the Bills like, actually traded Patrick Mahomes to the Chiefs on draft day. Oh, for uh, real? 
You said what? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't hear you. What did you say? Fun fact. They traded Mahomes, the pick that Mahomes was taken with to the Chiefs on draft day. Who did? Wait, who did? The Bills. <laughs> <laughs> But 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 it worked. I out, mean, though. yeah, yeah. I mean, they got Josh it Allen, out, but they yeah. got yeah. Trey Lance right. right with the pick they got from the Chiefs. So okay, yeah, 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 that's that, fine. Yeah, that worked out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about win-win trades, you know, Stephon Diggs, Justin Jefferson, best win-win hey. trade I've seen in a minute. Facts, mm. bro. Jefferson was so good this season, and Diggs too. Carried my fantasy so yeah. many. <laughs> All right, let's look at these. Uh, what's it called? These predictions. I'm kind of curious to see. Let's see, Bills thirty-one twenty-eight. Yeah, I think it'll be somewhere. I think it'll be like something close like this. Teacher's pick. <laughs> oh yeah, teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the Chiefs are projected to win. They're minus three. Yeah, I don't know. I think the I think it'll be close. Honestly, I think it'll be a little more. Maybe high scoring. Maybe like thirty five twenty eight. Maybe something like that. But yeah, I think the Chiefs are gonna win. I mean, you're playing in a cold stadium. That's right. Is it gonna be it's snowing or not? Nice so bright, you know. It says the Chiefs have. Oh wait, no, they're playing at Arrowhead, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. If fans are there, bro. If fans were here, the, the this playoffs would be so different. For um, starters, Seattle is not losing at home. Yeah, bro. Seattle is the fact <laughs> home, bro. Hey. Also, Wilson threw a pick six, and I was like, yeah, it's over. Yeah. Night. It says the Chiefs are gonna have sixteen around sixteen seventeen thousand fans. Honestly, I think, bro, the Chiefs fans, like, I don't know where they were the last 10 years before they got Mahomes, but honestly, oh, dude, <laughs> bro, honestly, I think that they're, I think that's going to be a difference because their fans are like crazy, bro. And the Bills fans are too, but Bills I think if it, crazy, I think bro. if it was in Buffalo, like on yeah, bro, <laughs> bro, if it was in Buffalo, like bro. yeah, bro, I think if it was in Buffalo that, that, bro, I think that's probably like the biggest place where the fans have like that big of an advantage, but since it's in Arrowhead, I think that's going to like that's weigh into it. The thing about home field advantage, right? Now, now with like only one bye and seven playoff teams, home field advantage that first yeah. year is very important. Yeah, facts. Only one team gets it. All right, so right, yeah, is nice. that is that are you, is, is yeah, everybody done? All right, yeah, let's go. so okay. I think that's gonna end it. So uh, we we all uh, got split views. I think I got I picked the uh, Bucks and Chiefs. Rennell picked the um, what's it called Bucks and uh, Bills. Joey picked the uh, Bucks and the uh, uh, Chiefs also, and then Navi picked the uh, uh, Packers. He picked the two teams that are gonna lose: the Packers and the Bills. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's gonna do it. So, anything you guys want to say? Uh, just thanks for having me. This is really fun. You know, I get to get my take. I was four for four last week, so if I can make it another two for two. Yeah, you keep bringing that and, up, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, I mean, hey, hey, if it happens, I'm going to bring it up, bro. All right, so. Uh, two for two, all right? Two nah, two. bro, bro, oh, you're going over for two. Hey, hey, are we putting money on the game? You want to put money on the uh the how, how Packers? How much, how much five bucks, bro, 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 five bucks. I did $170 wow. today. No all right, wait, hold on. Five bucks, I got I got bucks, you got Packers, right? Yes, sir. All right, shake on it right now. Shake on it. I bet, yo. Right. Wait, wait, didn't you, didn't you say you bet 50 on Aaron Rodgers? It's going to bite me, but yeah, I did. <laughs> 50? Wait, who'd you bet? Who'd you bet against? I bet with my friend. He has the Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. Hey, you, didn't you Didn't you uh, bet somebody last week, too, against Tom Brady? Uh, Last week, I didn't bet. I wanted them to lose, but I didn't bet against uh, him. All right, bro. So you're going to you're gonna lose $55 tomorrow, bro. That's, that's tough. I'm saying yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. I think that's going to do it, you guys. So as always, make sure to like, subscribe. Leave a comment on what other videos you guys want to see, and that's going to do it. Peace out.